play well either. Like, he did heal himself back from, to 29 while also setting up for lethal for next turn. Like, he would not expect the Volt Cobalt to be played and burst so quickly. Well, maybe maybe he expected it, but I, I, I probably wouldn't. You know, have. Freeze Mage sucks. I don't know, man. Laughing was uh, rank one with it this uh, this season. With the evolved Cobalt? No, not evolved Cobalt, but Reno Freeze Mage. Oh. So for a deck that sucks, apparently it's better than any other player than that plays in NA. Yeah. You know, <laughs> he's like... an EU. He's an EU. He's an EU. Yeah. Uh, laughing. Yeah. Laughing. Well, okay, so yeah. apparently it's just better than anything that's in EU. Yeah. You can't say a deck sucks just because you feel like it's not the flavor of the month. That's mm -hmm. never true. Oh, that was a good pickup. Yeah, that was a pretty good pickup to contest. Like, Tap so, seemed pretty weak there. Yeah, Nasa has a pretty good hand, too, to contest board. Just because of the Shadow Bolt, can you almost remove any minion? Like, especially the Desert Cam with somebody another injured Cap team. <laughs> Holy crap. Such good value. It's been so long since I've seen this kind of um, combo. Because nobody really runs it anymore. Like, they don't it was really, in the like, prelims. Yeah, it was in the prelims, yeah. But I would bring it to prelims. Like, you go for, like, big risks, big rewards, yeah. I mean, there's not that many decks to run one drops besides Zoo and Shaman, right? True. And if you're banning Shaman and Zoo, mm -hmm. you probably have a good time. Mm -hmm. But no, he's banning Warrior because he's playing Free Switch, so it's mm -hmm. quite interesting he's going with that build. So he has to actually play against those decks that actually have one drops most of the time. Mm -hmm. Even Tempo Mage could be a problem sometimes. Yeah, true. We're gonna we're gonna see the coin um, worshiper here, Praise worshiper. Pretty hard to get through as well, unless the um, Toad actually Kill did command. see one damage. But yeah, oh, he's not gonna lose any value from this. He's gonna go. But I kind of just like using a kill command here. Like you lose no value. Like your injured Calvadier is just a, a two one. Yeah, it's a monster. It's a monster one drop. Monster. But now the uh, he just turned on Cthulhu or Twin Emperor, mm -hmm. which could be a bit scary. Yeah. But he's at eighteen. He is at eighteen. Yeah, at least he has Vekler, right? Vekler is already a pretty big deal. Ooh, picking up the Earth and Farseer. Uh, but I, I like playing the Battler instead, because yeah. it dies for free. It dies for free. You know, he might actually tap, too. Yeah. Depending on what he gets here. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa, whoa. Tournament attendee, sure. Tournament attendee is good. Yeah, take it. I like it. Oh, yeah. Look at that. So now we're going to see a Kodo try to get that 50-50. Shall not lose the uh, huge Toad. Mm -hmm. Another thing you could do, yeah, yeah. Hound Master. Yeah, he could also he play the Kodo this turn too, but he doesn't really need to. He, could, I, I like establishing another huge stone. Well, the huge stone would just die regardless if you play uh, Kodo this turn. Mm -hmm. But I, I like being able to have the option to yeah. either develop the huge toad or hero power. Like mm -hmm. I think both are fine. Yeah, I like another huge stone. Something you can trade with. So probably gonna see the Earth and Forest here plus half come down this turn. He's, he's choosing to play the Earth of Fire Seer first, is yeah. so he's going to attack with the huge toad. But I, I think maybe you want to do a tap first, then you have the potential to actually get like Shadow Flame or Hellfire. Mm -hmm. Interesting. So he chose to Sun Fury instead. So forcing a trade. Okay. Huge toad, and then probably yeah, the, mm -hmm. the code the strength yeah, is yeah, now code first. Zero power. Yeah, code of first. Don't miss all that one damage, and then yeah, that's pretty he, good. He's, he's making sure he's playing in the proper ordering. Mm -hmm. He does have 93 points. <laughs> That's a lot of points. So, yeah, so so he is kind of good. <laughs> and those missteps that we see mm -hmm. frequently, uh, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. How is he going to deal with this? He has a lot of options. So he's just going to play Animal Companion. Well, now he has to trade in two minions. That doesn't seem too good. Yeah. Oh, boy. So he's going to end up... Maybe he just attacks into one and just passes his turn. Because mm -hmm. I don't think you really want to trade in Hound Master plus Huffer into the second one. True. <laughs> Power, which gives you a better trade next turn. Because, like, the only good trade that Nasim would have is to attack into the Kodo. Yeah. But then it, it dies. Then, then the Twin Emperor dies to the weapon. And then you get to attack phase for eight. So, mm -hmm. I mean, yeah. So he chooses to go Hero Power because he has the uh, Kill Command. So, I guess. Nasim really needs to draw a Rubino here. Yeah. Ooh, he is trading in both. Yeah. Not even giving the option. Ooh, Siphon Soul. Siphon Soul. Actually, that's pretty, that's pretty good. good yeah. See if you get Reno first, then... Yeah, yeah then Siphon Soul. Like, you're not in a, a, a place where you can't tap. Like, you have to 
cap here because you're probably just gonna lose if you don't draw Reno. Yeah. So his opponent is two off lethal. Yeah, playing the Savannah high main just to secure secure the deal, secure the win. I mean, I like how he's leaving in the hero powers. Yeah, makes it so that he's getting that reach regardless of what yeah. his opponent is playing. What he's doing. Ooh, Doomsayer. Doomsayer was not it. Reno, Reno Jackson. Oh, oh, it is a six draw. Yeah, it was pretty close, yeah. but not close enough. Yeah, it is pretty close. Yeah, so like if he doesn't tap there, then he's 